What's happening? I'm, I'm disappearing. Ah! Hello, I'm Con Burgundy. Welcome to The Roar. Today for our first segment, we have a special announcement we'd like to make. We'd like to introduce you to our service personnel and teacher of the month for the month of October. Employee of the month. Employee of the month! Employee of the month! Yeah! Congratulations! Oh, hello, Liz! What a surprise! Hi! What's up? Miss Dilly, congratulations. You are the teacher of the month. Oh, thank you! Oh, good luck! Yeah! yeah. Bud, come here. Yeah. You are the service employee of the month, sir. Oh, I am. Three, yes. two, one. You're the service personnel of the month employee. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Congratulations to Mr. Adkins and Miss Dilly with their much deserved achievements. Now, to Liz White and Cole Johnson with this week's teacher feature. This week on Teacher Feature, we feature Mrs. Bragg. She's the seventh grade English teacher on Team B. Here's what some students have to say about her. Katie, what is one of the assignments you're doing right now in Ms. Bragg's class? We're doing a uh, journal entry for uh, the book that we're reading. Uh, the person you're doing is like supposed to be like doing the events that's happening in that book right now. And what is the book called? It's called Chains. Ryan, what do you like most about Ms. Bragg's class? Um, She's super nice, and she makes the assignment fun. Kenna, what is your favorite part of Miss Bragg's class? Um, well, she's a really nice teacher, and she gives us really good assignments, and I always have fun in her class. Sawyer, do you like Miss Bragg as a teacher? Yeah, she is a very nice teacher, and all of her assignments, all of her assignments are very good, and they're very like interactive, so they're very fun to do. Now to Liz White with an exclusive interview with Miss Bragg. Liz? Thanks, Cole. Today I'm here with Miss Bragg. Miss Bragg, how long have you taught at Milton Middle? I have taught at Milton Middle School since 1997. Wow, that's a long time. It is a long time. So yeah. what are your favorite things that have happened throughout the years? Um, just different experiences with students, a lot of good memories. Um, you know, I can't think of like one specific big event that happened, but every year there's something several things that happen and I think to myself and that's why I teach so a lot of special memories uh, all my years have been good at Milton Middle School so I've enjoyed it greatly. So what are your projects that you've done with your students? I think in more recent years probably the Ancestry Project because students always make some uh, discovery for their family that's really um, something that they can keep forever and pass down to um, future generations, that's probably been uh, my best project or my most favorite project. Is it also fun having goats? It is a lot of fun having goats. It's a lot of work, so it's not for the faint of heart. Uh, we have about 35 to 38 goats, and I get up between uh, about 4.45 in the morning to get everything assembled to go and, and do my chores in the morning, so I do those every morning before I come to school. So what made you want to teach English? I think my love of reading and literature, uh, poetry, that's what got me interested. Actually, my best friend when I was growing up, her mother was an English teacher uh, at Beverly Hills. It was junior high at that time. And she's one of the ones that inspired me to want to be an English teacher. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. And now, a word from our sponsor. Do you want to go to the Panther Den? Do you have a blue card? Do you want one? Have you been respectful? Have you been responsible? Have you been motivated? 
Well, if you want to go to the Panther Den, you're going to need to do one of those three things to get a blue card. So let's give it a shot. Oh, darn. Oh, let me help you. Oh, thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thanks for plugging that up. There's my card. Thank you. Dylan, you've been doing such a great job on this assignment. Here's a blue card for all your hard work. Thank you, Miss Julia. Nice I appreciate work. it a lot. Welcome to the Panther Den, for Panthers who are respectful, responsible, and motivated. Now to Liz White with Miss Fowler's Pumpkin Carving Contest in the 8th grade hallway. Thanks, Connor. Tonight I'm here in the greenhouse with Ms. Fowler's career literacy class. She has entered her classes into a pumpkin carving contest that coincides with the pumpkin house and Canova WB. Tell us about your pumpkin carving design. I did all the carving for us. Um, it's a ghost, and he's like, he's like this, he's like happy. Uh, I shaved off all the spots for Sophie to, yeah, you know, carve it all out and stuff. I saw that. <laughs> Carly, tell me about your pumpkin carving design. I did Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Ada and Sammy, tell me about your pumpkin carving design. Um, we did more of like a girly pumpkin. Yeah. And, like, we didn't even use a stencil at all. Mm -mm, no stencil, so we didn't cheat. So where are you right now? I'm at the pumpkin house. <laughs> so what happened with your students? Well, we had all of our classes get together and carve roughly about 63 pumpkins. Um, we had a couple of them brought. So I think we actually ended up dropping off just now about 57 pumpkins. <laughs> um, they were donated mostly some of them from the... Uh, from uh, the pumpkin festival and the man was a team effort in that. And my name's Tuesday with Carl Pumpkin. <laughs> so how does this um, fit into your class? Uh, we just started the engineering unit. Oh yeah, they're getting so trained good too. We all came up with different things and we were able to use tools to engineer the business. That's great, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Now to our assistant principal who wishes he had hair like me in a segment we call Checking In With Chapman. Mr. Chapman. Hello? Hello? Hello, who is it? Mr. Chapman. Somebody's out there. Can anybody hear me? Hello, Mr. Rand, is that you? Hello? Mr. Mr. Rand? I'm getting a little scared. <laughs> the 
This week for Panther Picks, we asked which monster scared you the most. Here's what you had to say. Griffin, what horror character scares you the most? I ain't scared. Daniel, what horror character are you scared of the most? None of them. Dylan, what horror character are you scared of the most? None. Miss Jones, what horror character scares you the most? I'm not scared. Which horror character are you scared of the most? Uh, it's like Michael Myers. Mallory, what horror character are you scared of the most? Uh, I don't know much horror characters, but like all the horror characters I know, none of them really scare me. Kylie, what horror character scares you the most? Michael Myers. Mr. Good, what horror character scares you the most? I'd have to say uh, Freddy Krueger, because he comes to you in your dreams. Courtney, what horror character are you scared of the most? Pennywise. Reagan, which horror character are you scared of? I ain't scared. Marcy, what horror character are you scared of the most? Um, I'm not really scared of them, per se. I just know, like, one or two of them. That's it. Mr. Colgrove, what horror character scares you the most? Uh, I don't know enough about them to really be scared of any of them. Carson, what horror character are you scared of the most? Um, I'm not scared at all. Thank you. Now, let's see what you people are scared of. 4% of you are scared of Jason Voorhees, 6% of you are scared of Chucky, 7% of you are scared of Freddy Krueger, 12% of you are afraid of Michael Myers, 20% of you are scared of Pennywise, and 51% of you seem to not be scared of anything. I think you're lying. If you'd like to participate in next week's Panther Picks, check our Schoology polls, which are up on Thursdays. And as always, remember to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Milton Middle Schools. I'm Con Burgundy, and you've been watching The Roar. Stay classy, Milton Middle, and go Panthers. She's the seventh grade. Seven B. I'm getting a uh, one of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>